hi aquarius thank you guys for tuning in to my channel please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising and venus sign for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe this is going to be kind of quick you guys because yes i am doing personal readings now so that takes up a good portion of my day you guys are more than welcome to book a personal with me i am going to be leaving the link in the description box not the link in the description box what am i talking about i'm going to be leaving the email in the comment box you guys can email me i have a 25 dollars special going on right now it's a reading whatever you like it's pre-recorded and sent straight to you same day Alrighty, so let's get into it you guys three cards bam children your love life is being affected by children okay bam pay attention to the red flags okay bam religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path bottom of the deck finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now well i be damn i feel like this person might be trying to dig in your fucking pockets but yo god said i won't let her do it <laughs> spirit said get that motherfucker out your energy so religious factors something is telling you your, your intuition is like hell no yeah i feel like this is you coming in demanding asking what the fuck is going on with this person who is holding back their emotions this person is is feeling a bit smug about you though they feeling like you're doing too much this person might pull back yeah king and queen here though so there's a pair but there's too much conflict you have a lot of love for this person you nurture this person but it's like you want to work on it this person wants to fight with you very toxic individual here let's see why what did they say when you came at him and said what the hell is your problem what's wrong with you what was the word oh they tried to offer you love so when you curse them out they try to make it seem like you're crazy oh why are you bugging i love you page of cups we have the king of cups with the eight of wands so this person is going to be communicating with you telling you that every they're fine every oh my god that's such a, the king of cups thing the king of cups is someone who holds back their emotions they don't let people know what's going on they don't let people in so this person in this picture is dying okay they got 10 swords in them they can't be living with 10 swords in them however they're telling everybody i'm fucking fine see what i mean so when you reach out to this person and you ask them like you okay is everything yeah i'm fine they're dying look ten of swords twice they're fucking dying they don't feel happy something is wrong here I feel like it's because they're broke the hangman but they're looking i feel like this is you looking at things from a different perspective and this person is stressing you out because you want to offer them stability but they're conflicted okay this is you that needs to hear this today it says you are a badass being full of love life and possibilities through this deck may you find a path that best best fits yourself moving forward okay so you have to have enough self-love here and spirit bought that card out i'm telling you spirit is holding a hand through this to know when to love yourself enough to not let this person confuse you or use you okay I feel like there is love here with this person. Yeah, they do want a relationship. However, this person is really, really guarded because they're broke. They're broke. This person um, is feeling conflicted without having any money. And I feel like they got too much pride to tell you that. Okay? So let's get some, uh, the outcome, the conclusion, and then some advice. Okay? We're going to start out with the conclusion first. Conclusion first. Sure, give me a conclusion. What is the possible outcome? Possible outcome, please. 
I see you following your intuition. Balancing this situation out. Offering this person something tangible. But somebody in here is not being the best or the most honest. That's why I was telling you to pay attention to the red flags moving forward, okay? So, what is the advice from Spirit? Go be passionate about anything that makes you happy. Whatever, even if it's this person. But if that motherfucker don't, hold back your emotions. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.